Heroes, I will say. My pleasure. Mucho gusto. It's our yeah. pleasure. Noodles from, from the offering. Yay! How's it going? Okay, let's go to the point. Okay, right to it. Last album, it was in 2012. Fans are desperate. Uh, the once in a one is the next one coming out. What, what happened? Yeah. You're uh, too lazy. What's I, going on? Uh, <laughs> lazy uh, I'm lazy. Dexter's not lazy. Dexter's okay. trying to get his PhD. Uh, he just had a baby. He's got a lot going on. Okay. So, uh, but I'm the lazy one. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm no help at all. So it's all my fault. Too much beer. Um, <laughs> mm. Stop. Yeah. Uh, but we're we're so we're working on it. We're in and out of the studio. We have probably five or six songs done. Uh, I don't know if they'll all make the record at this point. And we're going to go back in as soon as we get home. We're going to do some more uh, off and on throughout the end of the year. Hopefully we have something for the fans. Just at least one or two songs we can kind of let the fans have. To, but I don't. I hope. I would like to have the whole record done, but it's looking more and more like it's going to be. It's going to be year. more like an EP, maybe. Or yeah. Or well, eventually we're going to have a whole record done. I mean, because we still think like that. That's the way we think. You know, we all grew up buying record albums and mm -hmm. stuff. So we kind of still think you know, record should be 12, 13 songs, right? Okay. So with cool. with liner notes and artwork and all that, you know, that's all that's all important. Well, if you're watching now, you know what's going on. Uh, yeah. Exactly. It's very right. exciting. Do you have any date in mind? <laughs> Uh, I, I want to say November 16th, but I don't know. It's probably going to be, mm. you know, maybe next year November 16th. <laughs> so perhaps when it's away. I have no idea. We have no number. Okay. Yeah, okay. No number. We'll buy it anyway. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. We'll buy it anyway. I, I mean, during make up, while, we'll I could make up story. all the numbers. I really could make up all the numbers, but okay. we don't know. And is this like this new city gonna have like an evolution for the offspring? Because you started like really pong with offspring, then ignition, so, smash that broke up all the ice, then Americana right. that opened the world to mm -hmm. to the whole world. So what is like the evolution of the offspring since pong, a little bit of brief and metal? Yeah, we've always liked to, to kind of mix it up and try to take what's good about the offspring and apply it to different types of music, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, whether it's you know ska or reggae, maybe a, just a straightforward rock song, maybe even try metal, you know. Um, as long as it can still sound like the Offspring, we'll we'll try to do it. But but we always come back to the kind of fast, melodic, uh, punk sounding kind of stuff. Heavy yeah. bass, drums, and guitar. That's the stuff that we love, you know. So we'll we'll always come back to that. So we'll recognize it in the new album too. It'll still sound. It better sound like the Offspring. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good, I like Otherwise that. I don't want you guys out. to lose that essence that makes well, you, you so yeah. unique. Well, thank I don't know that we know? really could. It would be just too weird, you know. It would be a different band if we changed that much, you know. Exactly. Totally. Exactly. Totally. Exactly. Exactly. Well, talking about punk and the, how, how do you see this the scene at the moment of punk and the worldwide? Because when you started, you know, you kind of put punk out there again. Right. How do you see it now? Yeah. I, I, fortunately, there's still a lot of bands from our generation that are still kind of carrying the torch, as well as new yeah. bands coming up. But like, you know, I love seeing uh, you know our friends in NoFX and Pennywise mm -hmm. and Rance and still out touring just like we are, um, and then bringing up other bands. You know, there's uh, there's bands like the Bronx that have been around for I don't know 10 or 12 years now that are that are great, it's still have that that energy. And then there's some new bands, bands like. Uh, I love a band called Together Pangea that's that's kind of up and coming. Mm -hmm. um, a, a band called Plague Vendor, you know. So there's still yeah. kind of punk stuff happening underground. It's it's a little different, but uh, it's not it's that still big happening. as it was in the 90s. Uh, uh, but but it could yeah. it could be. You reckon if it's going to come back? It's like a circle of. So I don't know. You know, here we are, a punk band playing this huge festival with a lot yeah. of metal bands. But it works together, right? Absolutely. You know, it's not that not that different. You know, we all exactly. we all get along. There's so many people 
in the yes. crowd wearing the offering t-shirt. All right. And that's cool. so good. It's a very good When sign. I walked down to the beach the other night, drunk off my ass at four, <laughs> four in the morning, two cars pulled over. They recognized me walking down the streets of Viviero. Two cars pulled over and got out to take photos with me. It's pretty cool. Funny. So that means something. It means something, yeah. I'm recognizable no matter how drunk I am or at any time of day. So, yeah. I think it's your hair, man. Yeah, I was gonna say. The I think it was the way I was. Hair. I took my shirt off and was swinging it in the air too. That might have. Very hey fun. guys, here I am. Very fun. <laughs> yeah, that's Very noodles. Noodles. Oh, no. That's noodles. <laughs> yeah. Who else? Who else would it be? You know, four in the morning. I have a lucky curiosity because since you started, Ron was in the band as a drummer, right. and then when he left, Patton came in. He mm -hmm. stayed for a few years, and now since that, I feel like since Ron left. You've got like a lot of different drummers, now Peter is in. Are we gonna right. keep the same evolution of the band with the same members in it? We're keeping or? Pete for sure, yeah. Pete's been with us for 10 years now um, and he's just phenomenal. We can do things now that we were never able to do before, I think, you know. Adam was great too, Ron was great. Uh, different, Ron was just, you know, he, I think he really wanted to move on and he, he wasn't happy with the direction we were going. Okay. You, you know. Um, but with Adam, Adam just got a gig too. He just got a gig, uh, a TV gig for the week. He's going to do the Seth Meyers late night show. Oh really? Late night TV gig for a week. He sits in with the band. I just, oh, I, I saw. That's, that's rad. Cool. I'm so stoked for Adam. That's cool. He's a great guy, great drummer. Pete's been with us for 10 years and just the coolest guy. So smart, so funny, and just a great drummer. I mean, he really helps us stay on top of our game. We used to always follow Dexter back in the day. Mm -hmm. Now we follow the drummer. We stick with the drummer. Yeah. So he's not uh, the lazy one in the band, huh? Uh, Pete is not the lazy one in the okay. band. Okay. That's me. <laughs> That's him. That's me. Maybe Greg's a little lazy too. Oh, I could not imagine that from Greg. I don't yeah. know. Really? I did not have it in my mind. Uh. All right. <laughs> You know what, um, it's a shame Dexter is not here because I wanted to ask him something, but I think it would be even better to ask you. I'll try to this. mind meld no, ask with you this. Because, okay. you okay. know, to, to know your point of view, what, what's, what's the thing about him? Like, he has his own sauce, <laughs> he has his own beer, he, he flies now planes and also he, he's a doctor of. He's, biology, that's, my that's, what he's, that's what he's working on his PhD. He's not quite there, but yeah, he'll be a doctor. You know, okay. he's getting his doctorate degree. Here's the question. You know that in this festival, like he's gonna he's gonna play Iron Maiden. So my yeah, question tomorrow, is, yeah. is he trying to be the Bruce Dickinson of punk or what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Seriously. And, and the Brian May. Like Brian May has a PhD in astronomy, right? Bruce Dickinson flies planes. Dexter wants to be both those guys combined. <laughs> Yeah. And who who does hot sauce? Joe Perry from Aerosmith has his own hot sauce, so he wants to be the Joe Perry, Bruce Dickinson, and Brian May all mixed in together, all in one. What yeah. if he got time? I to just do? want to get drunk and walk down to the beach. <laughs> you know, I'm not. I don't know. I don't know where he gets the the, how the inspiration and drive for that. Get time to you know to still working with you guys and doing like performing pretty well, like yeah. Since the beginning. He's, he's crazy. That's why he's always he late. He, every time you plan something with him, he's always late because he's always <laughs> doing all these different things. And, yeah. So. Uh, how yeah. sense? How sense? Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and you? Cool. Are you yeah. planning to have your own sauce or maybe a uh, no. condom brand or no. something like that? Yeah, no. You know, uh, I, I thought about making whiskey my own on the beach. beer. Whiskey on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I really like beer, but I think I'm gonna um, uh, take a break from beer. But maybe beer, I could do one of those. You know? Why not? But it would just be a regular beer. It wouldn't be like anything fancy, you know? Like, you know the guys from Hans, remember the, the kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They did a beer called Mm Hop. Really? They did their own beer, yeah. I don't know it. Yeah, they did their own beer called Mm Hop, and it was, I guess, real hoppy kind of beer. Oh, okay. but I, I don't like hoppy beers. They were underage, right? I would want to make it. So yeah. They know if the beer was good. No, they were, when they made Mm Hop, I think they were all old enough to drink. I'm not sure about Zachary. <laughs> but, or was it Taylor? I mean, Zachary was, but Taylor, I'm not sure. Maybe Taylor wasn't old enough to drink yet. Oh, but his man. brother's oh, buying beer. Come on, everybody has older brothers. And <laughs> I was the older brother. I bought beer for everybody else, but Dexter yeah. and Greg. And that's why they got me in the band. I was 22 years old, and you have to be 21 to buy beer in California. Greg was only 20, one. Dexter was only 19. So I was the one who came in and bought the you beer. You were like for daddy, everybody. sort of thing, right? Older brother. 
older brother. Older brother. Yeah. Yeah. Corrupting influence again, <laughs> or maybe like a bad cousin, right? You know? So. The bad uncle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that bad. Well. Yeah. You know what? You're very funny. You, you. I think. Uh, yes. We totally. agree on that. We talk about totally. it before. You know, from the whole group, from the whole band, you are the one that is just. Like comedy, you know, you all the time oh. like in a really good yeah, mood. Yeah, totally. And, totally. and how I, well, I do, yeah. Have I mean, you ever think about being movies or something like that, or have maybe your own play in a theater with like stand-up comedy or something like that? I would love to. Uh, you know, you Todd. About it, yeah, right? <laughs> like doing. You know who's who's doing stand-up comedy now is uh, Stevo from Sum 41. Oh, uh, he true. was the drummer. He's doing stand-up comedy now, and I'm stoked for him. So I would love to do something like that. Maybe we could do it like a. You know, punk rock comedy night, and Todd with us also does some stand-up comedy. There's some other guys around that are really funny. Maybe we get a bunch of these guys and go out I and do it. I think he would it. be hilarious, and I think Joe Escalani from the will, band. It will be a sold out really every yeah. night, huh? Punk rock comedy, and it will work. There we could go. open up. We could open up for punk rock karaoke. Oh, that's yeah, a good idea. Actually, punk that's rock a good karaoke, idea. punk rock comedy. We and should. you can do some skate. Uh, I want to be bored because you were doing it. Before, yeah, right? surfing. I used to practice really surfing. Not skating so much. Oh. Yeah, um, I have done in the last year, but nobody wants to see me skate. It's bad. Oh, okay, um, but you were doing snowboarding, but surfing, before, right? Snowboarding. I haven't done snowboarding for a couple years. You yeah, know, that's a seasonal thing. You can only do that yeah. in the winter. Oh, okay. Um, I was gonna go last year, and you know, it just didn't happen. Uh, but surfing, still surfing and riding bikes, so over and mountain bike and street bike. Cool. Yeah. Cool. That's, that's good. Well, you know now. There you go. Someone is gonna be comedy is under. <laughs> no, no, punk rock. comedy is something. Look out for the punk rock Noodles comedy night. tour, <laughs> right? So yeah, while well, Dexter's working on his PhD, I'll tell jokes and get drunk. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Invite yeah. me, you please. Good enough. We're gonna go. Okay. We're gonna, right. go. We're gonna be, be there. Yeah, totally. Okay, Noodles. Thank you so oh, much. I know that you, you have to jump now on stage. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna be there. Perfect. And uh, I'm gonna have a couple more beers and I'll be ready. Have a great show. Yeah, of course. We're gonna have a beer together now. Okay. This was Alvar Shadia Noodles for EMP Live TV. Enjoy. <laughs> Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Can we? Can we?